Hi. I just got back from a massive, massive trip, and it was just spectacular. The trip that I just went on might be. So you guys are always asking me, like, what is a good place outside of Tokyo that's, you know, not crowded, it's a little more quiet, you know, what, what is a nice place to go outside of Tokyo that's not super, super far, and I found a place. I got taken out to this place that I'm going to be releasing a video on tomorrow, which means today, Today's just a video editing day. So before I jump into all the video editing craziness, I wanted to sit down and do this live stream with you guys. Later on in the live stream, we will be doing a Q&A because I feel like I have quite a few questions to answer for you guys. So this, this is just so exciting. All right, so first and foremost, Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, it is exciting. I'm gonna be getting to all these comments in just a moment I uh, it sucks that I can't be there for Canada Day but you know maybe next year maybe next year uh, additionally I, I I'm sure that you guys have seen it I released a video quite recently on me leaving my job we're gonna be talking a little bit about that today because that's it I, I was with this company full-time for seven years, full and part-time for better part of 10 years. So we'll be talking about that today as well. To everybody saying th uh, happy Canada Day, thank you very much. To anybody who's just joining, so happy to have you. Very, very excited to have you here. Thank you very much. Yes, that's right. July 4th is also coming up in just a few days. Hello from Sweden. When When is Sweden's national um, celebration? So, all right. So yeah, guys, um, I you, you guys can tell I'm all over the place. I'm so pumped. This, it is, it is in Tokyo right now. It is July 2nd, which means, is Monday, July 2nd, which means today, today is my first official day not, not working in corporate management. Like, this is it, guys, what we have going on right here. I have so much going on. This week, I'm going to be releasing a video to you guys that's talking about whether or not I'm going to be going full time on YouTube, whether or not that's something that you guys are even interested in. But I figure it's a good one. I, I should get the answer to that question out there. So yeah, for all of you who waited for so long for the I Quit video to come out, you know, I've been alluding to that video for quite some time now. And you guys waited very, very patiently. A lot of people were like, hey, you know, like, you know, uh, what's with all the constant teas? What's with all the little hint drops and everything like that? But I wanted to keep it fun. And if I'm gonna be documenting this experience and sharing this journey with you guys, I want you guys to be able to feel the same type of excitement that I feel. I want you guys to be able to feel that build. And so that's why we've done it that way. And look at all the new people joining. Hi guys, so happy to see you. So I am really really excited to be able to be here but i want to take two seconds to talk about craig stewart i don't want to take two seconds to talk about craig stewart craig stewart's just dropped in 10 bucks thanks so much craig really really appreciate that that's super kind of you you've, you've already put a smile on my face made my day i want to take two seconds to talk about the last 10 years of my life because it has been about 10, 15, somewhere. I, I came out to Japan for the first time, moved here in 2007. Came out for the first time in 2005. I moved here in 2007. Shortly after that, around 2008, I started up with the company that I was working for. Now, because I want to be able to share my full opinions and views on the company overall, I'm not going to get into like company name and everything and all that, but... It, it wasn't a bad job. I stayed with the company for seven years and you know, you guys can all, when we're all said and done, I'll link the I Quit video in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, this right here, what we're doing right here, it is, it is a Monday at the beginning of July and this is what I have to do. I've got to edit a video today. I've got to get out. I got to get some photography done. But more exciting is a project that I just landed that I can't wait to share with you guys. And that project is what all of this is about. And we will talk about that in just a second. Molly, thank you so much. 
yeah, I know you wouldn't miss the live stream. I'm so happy to see all of you here. So, so excited. And no, you're not too late. We are just getting started. For everybody who's just joining right now, everything's just starting. I have just been rambling very excitedly for the last, what, five minutes? Eight minutes? Eight minutes. I've been rambling for eight minutes. Sorry, guys. We're just getting started right now. If you're new, yes! Oh my god, give the like button some love. I'd absolutely appreciate it. We got what 188 with 87. I think we can I think we can break a hundred with that like button, no problem. So first and foremost, I want to give a couple huge, huge shout-outs because I wouldn't be here right now. We would not be sitting here right now if it wasn't for a couple different people. So the first major shout-out that I want to give on this live stream is super cheesy, but I really mean it. And it's time to my parents, to my mom, my dad, the people who have raised me and brought me to this point, the people who put the faith in me that I could do something adventurous. So thank you, mom and dad. I love you. Second, just as much love is going out to the one person who pushed me harder than anyone. The one person who was like, you need to be doing YouTube right now. Why are you not doing YouTube? Does anybody know who that is? I think you all know who that is. That's Sharla. Sharla is also going to be linked down below so you can check her out. Sorry, my parents don't have a YouTube channel that I can link down below, but Sharla is linked down below. If you don't know who Sharla is, she is a YouTuber who started out in Japan and is now living in Korea. She gave me the push that I needed in order to start all of this. You see, a long time ago, I used to produce videos for shamisen players, musicians here in Japan, but I had never put out any of my own content. And Sharla was like, you need to be putting out your own content. Charlotte's push was probably the push that really got me going the most and made me think, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do this. So a huge shout out to her. But there's one more person. There is one more person that I have linked down below. Give me just a second here. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. I just needed to deal with some, some stuff dealt with. All right. Woohoo. So there's one more person that I really want to give a huge shout out who is linked below. And that is my buddy, Taylor Jackson. You see, Taylor is an amazing photographer based out of Canada. And Taylor was telling me for the longest time, dude, you need to just start putting out content. You need to put something out there. Hey, Albo. Ooh, the, the, the third. Okay. You know what? We'll come back to Taylor because I want to take two seconds to talk about Albo here. Albo is another buddy back from Canada. Happy Canada Day, Albo, who has been pushing me for the longest time to just keep the content going. If you guys haven't seen Albo's channel, check that out. When all is said and done, I will also link that below. Albo runs a channel here in Japan called Drift Hunter, where he follows the underground drift scene of like cars and drifting, real life initial D. It's insane. Brooks, love what you do, bud. Get yourself something tasty or whatnot. Good to see you doing well. Thank you so much. Now, the last shout out for today, again, my buddy Taylor. So my buddy Taylor is th this amazing photographer. He, he started out as like a wedding photographer. We actually, we went to university together to study programming of all things. And when we were done, neither of us ended up as a programmer. Taylor took a couple pictures. They ended up on like billboards for like, um, what is it? The, 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 that, that idol show, whatever that is. And they used some of his photographs and his career just kind of took off. Next thing you know, he's a wedding photographer. Then he's doing YouTube and everything like that. Taylor comes out to Japan every single year, pretty much to spend time with me. And we always get into these little misadventures, but Taylor just hit a hundred K on YouTube. He was sitting at like 20, 30 K not a month ago and some of his stuff got shared out there and just blew up. It was absolutely amazing. So he's linked below too. Honestly, Sharla Taylor pushing me to do this and the people who stand around me right now, like Albo, who's hanging out in the comments right at this very moment, the people who push me to keep going, the people who've pushed it so that this is the first Monday in the better part of a decade where I can sit down and say to you guys, it's just me and you right now. 
That's it. No, no suit, no tie. All of that has been boxed and put away. This weekend there was a huge trip where I went out and uh, went out to one of the most beautiful areas I've ever been to in Japan. Got some of the most incredible footage I think I've ever got. And I have something that I'm going to be packaging and putting together for you guys tomorrow. Quite possibly the best spot to escape from Tokyo ever. So, that being said, there's something that I do want to tell you guys. So, we've already landed our first gig, job, everything like that. You see, there are some major musicians that I'm going to be doing some work with here in Japan. People that I cannot wait to introduce you to. But I got a phone call the other day and they were like, yeah, we, uh, we want you to record our, uh, our live, our, our gig. And uh, we need at least three cameras, et cetera, et cetera. So I needed to go out and get some more gear. So while I talk to you guys today, I figured it'd be a good opportunity to open up some of the gear that I picked up for that live. So, and while we are opening up this gear, since we, we have all of us here, why don't we get a little bit of a Q&A? Oh, before we get a Q&A going, I have something to share with you guys. I have something exciting to share with you guys. So a lot of you, okay, give me two seconds. So the number of you who have picked up the Tokyo Lens Pre 50K gear has blown my mind. I never, never expected that. There are two things that I need to address in here right now. Number one, I, I cannot thank all of you enough. I, that video went down after 24 hours, so I never got the chance to say thank you to everybody who jumped in on the Tokyo Lens Pre 50K gear and actually grabbed it. That gear is going down sometime after this live stream, but in its stead, I am going to be uploading at some point in this week all the photos that I have up on Redbubble right now, I'm gonna be turning those into additional gear. I'm talking phone cases, I'm talking tote bags, I'm talking like laptop cases, maybe some stickers and stuff like that. The Tokyo Lens Pre 50K gear is gonna be gone, but it will be replaced with some other stuff that you can get. So I just, uh, so, so excited. Also, on that I quit video, usually I try and jump in and I try to reply to as many comments on those videos as possible. There were well over 500 comments on that video. You guys are amazing. I don't even know where to start replying to comments. I, I, I just, so I want to take a second right now for everybody who's joined the live stream to say thank you. Thank each and every one of you for being amazing thank each and every one of you for just being who you are and where you are some of those comments and i did read every single one of those some of those comments were so touching and amazing and beautiful and just mind-blowingly awesome you guys you guys are the best so if you've just joined definitely jump into the chat i can't wait to see you in there definitely don't forget to hit that like button we're gonna get a little bit of a q a going here and in addition to everything else, there's one last thing that I want to let you guys know before I start opening all this up. And that is, for all of you who are like, hey, I want to send some stuff, like I have, I have a letter or I've got a bag of candy or I've got whatever, I've got this thing off of Amazon that I want to send you. I honestly, I, I don't, I, I didn't have an address until now. That's right. Linked in the description box below, should you want to send something, I don't encourage it, is an address where you can send, like, you know, if, if you want to send, like, a little something, I, I shout out to Tokyo Creative for opening up themselves as a P.O. box to one of their creators so that we could get that going. So, guys, shall, shall we get to opening stuff up? Because I'd like to... This stuff has just been sitting here and I haven't been able to open it forever. So who's game for this as we do a little bit of a Q&A? I would love to get a Q&A going because if you're just joining, if you have found this live stream and you're like, who, who is this random guy sitting in a Tokyo apartment like with boxes? I'm Norm and it's nice to meet you. Um, just quit my job 
now we're doing YouTube stuff. So, okay, first and foremost, the first thing that we have right here, uh, yeah, Albo. Albo has just said, man, your fans are amazing in here. Yes, they are. I have often, often said that I am surrounded by probably the best community that I've ever seen on YouTube. Yes, I will sell more prints. We'll get to Q&A in just a second, but I, I'm surrounded by probably what it has to be, the single best community that I've ever seen on YouTube. The people who surround this channel are just all amazing, incredible people, and I'm so happy to have you. So we're gonna start right here. This is something that I picked up for a couple different reasons. This is the Canon EOS M. It is Canon's newest camera, and unboxing is happening right now. Here's the camera right here. It's super tiny. Like, super, super tiny. Look at this. So, if I can compare this. So here's the Canon EOS M50. In Japan, it's called the EOS Kiss M. Do I have a favorite camera brand? I would probably say my favorite camera brand would have to be Canon. Um, just because their autofocus and color science are on point and absolutely unbeatable. And we can get a little bit of a Q&A going here. Uh, I might miss some of the questions because I'm doing things unboxing wise, but you know how to make them stand out. So these, this right here is the, the camera I've been carrying up until now. I'll probably continue using this camera for vlogging. This is the ADD. I black everything out just because I, I don't want to advertise. But if you compare that to this Canon EOS M50, this thing is this thing is tiny. This is like itty bitty. So, but the thing is, it comes with these. Uh, it comes with these these little EOS lenses that I'm not a huge fan of. And considering the fact that I'm gonna be using this camera for a semi-professional job, I'll show you what I did. I got this this adapter right here. And then I got this. You see, this here is a full frame, 24 to 70 lens. Um, now for people asking like, where do you get your camera gear? Where do you get your lenses? I have really good news for you because my need for this popped up suddenly. I received a phone call the other day and they're like, hey, we, we need you for this gig. Um, can you, can, can you get cameras together and be ready? So what I did is I have a few default options for cheap camera gear in Tokyo. I'm going to get to that super chat in just a second. And Stephanie, good to see you as well. I have a few default options for super cheap camera gear in Tokyo. I filmed it all for a Tokyo Tuesday that is coming out next week. So you guys, the, the video tomorrow is just gonna be insane. We couldn't wait on that. So let me unbox this bad boy. Oh, that is a heavy lens. Dropping that there was not a good idea. All right, give me a second to go back to that super chat. Casey, here's for a celebratory drink. Maybe some sake. I know I like my sake. It's <laughs> warming going down. Thank you for sending that to me, by the way. It was very awesome to see. So, mm, it still hurts a little. This, okay, you guys are gonna laugh at this part though because here's the, ooh, ooh. It's got a nice metal finish to it and everything. It's beautifully packaged. I don't even know where to start on doing this. So, but here's the thing. This, uh, what kind of books do you read in your spare time? One of my favorites that I've actually reread a couple of times is Freakonomics. I don't know if you guys have read that book, but I really, really like it. And for those of you saying it's bigger than the camera, yes, yes it is. This is bigger than the camera. So now the trick to all of this right now, <laughs> it's gonna, this just feels like a bad idea. This just, any tips for editing videos to be more interactive, attention grabbing the way you do? Where do you get your music? I always found myself so intrigued. 
Music is really simple. I get all my music. I used to get most of my music from a buddy that I have online named Ixin, but then everybody started using his music and I was like, well, well, I guess I don't need to be pushing his stuff anymore. So now I get all of my music on Epidemic Sound. And so that's, that's that. Uh, in terms of, in terms of, wow, my mind is just, in terms of how to make the videos uh, interactive and like attention grabbing, that that's that's a hundred percent you. I, I once I, I know I've mentioned this before, but I once mentioned I once mentioned I once watched a video of uh, like a YouTuber friend, a YouTuber guy I know back in Canada, um, who literally sat down and just cleaned his garage. He just cleaned his garage and it was the most entertaining and amazing video I've ever seen. So now I've put the adapter here on the camera. I'm pretty pumped to put this lens on the camera because this, this is just insane. All right. I don't even know where to. <laughs> so there's, <laughs> forgive the laughter. This is, um, look at this, like, Look at this tiny little camera and the giant lens. And look at the glass on this lens. Like, just, I, I know not all of you are camera freaks, um, but like, look at that. That's, that's just an insane amount of glass. And actually it feels like it holds pretty nicely. But when I attach the, the when I attach the Gorilla Pod, I'm gonna have to mount it like right there instead of right here because that's, that's not gonna work. That's, it'll just fall right off. And I am actually, you know, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on because this camera does 4K. You know what I might do? I might get you guys like a nice shot in 4K. I'm pretty sure that with my 250 millimeter lens, which is a super cheap kit lens, but between the 250 millimeter lens and the 4k in this camera body with the 1.4 times crop i think i could probably get people walking around inside the sky tree um, for those of you who are like what's the size of the camera um the size is small here's my usual canon 80d and there we go. the autofocus on this um albo's asking how the autofocus is on this it is, it's dual pixel autofocus. It's like the absolute best on the market, but Canon pulled a really sneaky move and to keep their high end cameras competitive, Canon disabled the cross pixel, the dual pixel autofocus in the 4K mode. So absolutely crazy, but say la vie. I don't need the dual pixel for the uh, 4K because the way I'll be using it for 4K, I would wanna be focusing manually anyway. So that is the new camera and body. And we're turning it on. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna set up all the settings later. This is, okay. When, when you talk to the camera, I'm confused and strangely titillated. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, how long can you record in 4k before it overheats? I'm interested to know that as well because you know what we're gonna open up this box Literally my floor is just covered in boxes and paper this, Okay, this is one of the reasons that I don't order from Amazon as much because Amazon does this Did, did we need the bigger box was the bigger box really necessary for, for just put the label up. For this. This box goes for this. Just Amazon. All right. And I can't order from BH Photo because a lot of their stuff doesn't ship to Japan. I would love to order from BH Photo though. So what we have right here is because I'm gonna need to leave this camera running for quite a while. I'm praying she doesn't overheat too much. Is I have a continuous power supply so that I can plug it right into the camera. Just 
plug that into the battery. That goes into the camera, and then I can just plug it in and leave the camera running absolutely forever. And then the last thing that you need for any semi-professional gig is something I should have already had. Speaking of thumbnail, um, for anybody who actually saw the thumbnail for this live stream, that thumbnail wasn't supposed to be the thumbnail for this live stream. And again, really? Amazon, really? Like, look at this. Amazon, what are you, what are you doing? This giant box for this. Just. And actually, Drew, I do know why. I would absolutely love to just be able to get all together, but I've got a massive, like, 750 clip, three camera video that needs to be, uh, like, put together and voiced over and everything by the end of today. I'm actually in a little bit of a panic. So, right here. <clears throat> I, I, don't, I don't have a knife on me. I'm gonna use this key, which is presumably from my car back in Canada, because I was cleaning most of last night. There we go. What have we got here? I, I know what we have here, but let me show you guys what we have. I can't even open a box. I'm so manic today, guys. I'm just so excited to be where we are. For anybody who's just joining now, I'm so excited to have you here. There's a little bit of an unbalance as we've got 250 viewers. Only 175 likes. Why don't we adjust the likes instead of the viewers? So this right here, I think we can get. I think we can get the likes to at least 200 pretty easily. So this right here is something that if I'm gonna be getting, if I'm gonna be going like full on like professional jobs, and I want to be able to keep my frame rate and everything exactly where I need it. Okay, there we go we need this. So what this is, is it's a full-on filter ring set so that I can... Let's grab the new camera. There we go. So where is my 82 millimeter filter thread? There it is. I'm gonna screw that on there. And we're gonna drop it. See this this is the stuff that usually you edit out, but this is also the fun of live streams because we, we, get to, we get to get all the fails and everything. And I really should have turned up that air conditioner before starting this live stream because he has gotten hot. Let me take this. Did not expect this to, to have that feel to it. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay. Clip this on there. Slide it right in. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Does anybody know what this is yet? Also, official Q&A starting in two minutes. So y'all better have your questions prepped and ready. Wow, they package these so beautifully. Ta-da! Oh no way, Craig's watching from Waterloo. And there we are. Yes, an ND filter, not the most exciting of things, but if you wanna be able to keep your frame rate and your shutter speed in sync, what you want is you want your shutter speed to be double your frame rate so you get natural smooth motion blur. If you watch some of my older videos, I didn't actually get the ND filters that I should have gotten. So a lot of my like movement looked like really like robotic and weird and it just wasn't, uh. And born in Waterloo, that is awesome. I'm from Kitchener, K-Town, good to see ya. But yeah, um, this is an entire ND filter set. And there we go, that's, that's, that's the unboxing and my sofa and the surrounding area just is a, there's just boxes everywhere. So that's, that's what we got. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, camera tutorials, haha. <laughs> 
I would love to do some camera tutorials, but they're so well done by the people who already do them. And like the informational tutorial style videos is something that I, I don't, I don't really do. So now that my sofa is covered in stuff and I can barely sit, I think it's time that we just got the real interaction going here, guys. I'm so happy to be able to sit down and just talk to you guys and just, just have this, this time with you. So why don't we get a little bit of a Q and A going? Cause I would absolutely love that as we get into it. Um, and these like wildly personal questions, like, come on, we, we can get it, make it personal, but still, uh, hi from Scotland. Uh, I want to visit Japan for a month. Yeah, do it. Absolutely do it. Wow. Uh, these are coming in really quick. Favorite piece of tech you can't live without? Uh, isn't camera related? I do have one piece of tech that I literally, I should link them below that I cannot survive without and it is not camera related in the least and it's my Wi-Fi router. Like this thing right here from iVideo, these are the guys that I recommend in that like your Wi-Fi in Japan video. This stuff here, it, it like, it makes it so that I can actually work outside. When I travel to other countries, like I've been able to use the iVideo Wi-Fi in Canada. I've been able to use the iFi, uh, the iVideo Wi-Fi in Korea. It is dirt cheap and super fast. I still don't know how they make money. I don't get it. Like seriously, like it's like a dollar a day or something. And so many people, have, see, dropped it again. So many people have commented on the video and be like, yeah, I rented the iVideo Wi-Fi and it was actually really good and I can't believe how cheap it was. If you jump over to the, the, the video I did on the Wi-Fi, there's like a promo code listed down there as well. And yes, it is, it is norm proof. Things need to be norm proof because norm drops everything. Norm just drops and dis just destroys everything. And Albo is saying that they sent him one too. That's awesome, Albo. They're, and like, just their staff are so, just just the, the interaction with them and their customer service. Customer service is really important to me. How about you guys? Like if I go into a restaurant, no matter how good the restaurant is, if the staff isn't friendly, I, I don't really wanna be in there. It's, it's all part of the experience, right? It's just my, my personal opinion. Um, I don't know. Do you guys feel the same? Is, is customer service an important aspect to you making a choice? So I still can't believe how ridiculous this looks to have this tiny little body with this giant lens, like norm proof should be a meme. Thanks elbow. Thanks for that. Norm proof should be a meme. So, uh, for anybody who's just joining now, Hello guys, really, really happy to see you. Are you planning to apply for Japanese citizenship or ever come back to Canada? That is a good question. Japanese citizenship is not something that I would be applying for. It's not something that I'm interested in. I love my Canadian passport. I love my Canadian citizenship. I'm already a permanent resident in Japan, so I basically have all the same rights. I don't need to worry about visas or anything like that. But Japanese, like I'm, I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian all the way, and what a better day to say that than Canada Day. It just feels good to say I am Canadian all the way, no matter where I am in this world, I'm Canadian. So, whew, I'm having trouble sticking up with it, keeping up with these comments. Okay, let me just take a peek here. Yes, customer service. Do you cook at home or eat out? You know, this is something I figure I might want to put into the vlog if I can ever get the kitchen clean enough to actually use. I love cooking. I absolutely love cooking. Cooking is a huge part of my life that I haven't shared with you guys yet, but I just, I love cooking. I do eat out sometimes, but yes, I. Uh, what is the difference between permanent residency and citizenship? Permanent residency means you're a permanent resident. You can live here without a visa and you have a little permanent residence card. Citizenship means you would have a Japanese passport. You cannot have dual citizenship in Japan, so you need to give up your Canadian passport. It's not something that I'm willing to do. Ooh, Stephanie, hello. Give me a second. Happy Canada Day and congrats on quitting your day job. What are your plans for this summer? 
anything you can tell us. Well, Stephanie's, Stephanie's dropped in a super chat. So I'm going to take a second just to focus on this. Stephanie and I ran into each other at Sanja Matsuri. It was this serendipitous, beautiful moment that neither one of us expected. I was filming a video with Hannah from Currently Hannah, and there was Stephanie. And we'd hoped, after all this time hanging out in the comments section together, that we'd be able to do this. And Stephanie came up and said hello. I loved it. It was wonderful. In fact, that's one of the things I love. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to put out the like Tokyo Lens pre 50k gear is because I can recognize so many of you from your names and avatars that when I run into you in person, like the next video that I put out this week, not the one, the one after tomorrow, there's actually going to be a few people like featured in there who I recognize from the comment section because they came up and talked to me. So Stephanie, thank you. I'm very happy that today is my first like official Monday with no day job and I can just focus on content creation. What are your plans for this summer? Anything you can tell us. This summer is going to be chock full of as much adventure as I can fit into it. You see, I haven't been able to live for the last seven years. The last year has been a lot better because I've been able to get out and do stuff like, you guys have seen my buddy Albo in the comments. In my my favorites playlist, there's a video that I did with him, probably still one of my favorite days of the last year where we went out and we did car stuff, and yes, I'm scratching my back. We went out and did car stuff and just drove around and had an amazing time, and the video just turned out spectacularly. I want to get out definitely do more stuff like that. There is some travel planned for this summer. My little brother, potentially both of my little brothers, the full beard crew, will hopefully be assembling in Tokyo for the month of August. I have hopefully some more trips and travel planned coming up after that. There's some jobs that I'm trying to work out with the Shemisen players, Kiki, where we might even be going to Italy. I'm not sure. The dates aren't lining up, so it looks like it might get pushed back, but who knows? So those are the plans for the summer. So many videos. Like, I was about to like grab my phone and show you guys my list of videos, and then I realized I'm using my phone to stream. So I won't be showing you that. But there are so many videos that I have planned for you guys. Hopefully three, maybe four a week, maybe even more. And Albo's saying that that was his favorite day too. It was just such a good day. Seriously, guys, check out the My Favorites playlist. Um, I'm going to get back to Cheyenne. So, Cheyenne, I'm going to read this in just a second. Oh, there's one thing that I want to say. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, how can we support the channel? What can we do for you? Da -da -da -da. Of course, you know, like in the live streams and whatnot, it's something like the like button helps it spread out there. But like, if you guys are having a dead afternoon, and you're like, oh, I want to do something. Like if binge watching and commenting on old videos and stuff, like I've had so many people, I didn't realize how much I loved that. I've had so many people lately binge watching and commenting on old videos and it's so much fun. Like just to like go back and interact on that old stuff. So, and Cheyenne, thank you for the super chat, Cheyenne. Oh. Do you still have that air bonsai? Turn up the AC for the hot apartment, comfy and chill. Yes, I do have the air bonsai. It is sitting right up here. I've got, there we go. I don't have the, the power cord, but I've got the base and I've got the, the stuff right there. It is a really, really cool product. I really like it and I'm gonna try and put it in a way that it doesn't fall off the sofa and break. Also, for anybody who's in Japan, and wants to like be a cheapskate like Norm and save a few pennies. Really interesting fact about air conditioners. If you turn it on like the air conditioner thing, then like you, you obviously it costs normal air conditioning money. But, but if you turn it on the middle button, which is usually like a dry setting and it's just like a dehumidifier for the room instead of temperature, it costs like half as much and you get rid of the humidity in the room. So there, interesting facts on saving money in Japan. And there is so much stuff. Will you play more shamisen for us? Yes, I will. I wanna do a special live stream where I just sit down and play for you guys, but I, I kinda wanna get like a live stream setup going where I actually use a camera rather than my cell phone for that and get some, some good audio. So not sure about Jesse, but I, oh, so. I was just talking about my little brothers coming. 
My little brother Alexander is hanging out in the comments right now. You guys can spot him, Alex, 1986, December. Just giving away the whole birthday there, aren't you, buddy? So <laughs> he's going to be here like the whole month of August. So really, really psyched on that. A lot of people, okay, so Bria here is asking, when's your birthday? I actually got an email from a website called like famousbirthdays.com or something like that. And they're like, uh, yeah, we were wondering if you could provide us with your birthday information as there's been over a thousand searches for your birthday in the last six months. How are a thousand people searching for my birthday? How is that a thing? Do you have like, do you see how red I am? Do you have any idea how mind blown I am by the fact that over a thousand people have searched for my birthday in the last six months? Anyways, just wow. Just wow. And uh, nap time 875 is saying, I'll be in Japan tomorrow. Well, welcome to Japan. I hope you have a fantastic trip. I am just trying to catch up on comments. Uh, how's Japan weather in August? Does it rain often? It's give or take. Like the rainy season this year, I think it's over. Last year, the rainy season lasted forever. It was like basically all of summer was the rainy season. But this year it was like a week. And so I know it's hot. I know it's humid. That is August in Japan. But it is also beautiful. So uh, I'm just trying to catch up on... If, if you have like a question or comment that I haven't caught, definitely leave it in. Um, also, you guys know that as soon as this live stream is done, I'll be hanging out with you guys in the comments section. So, all right. I'm just trying to catch up on... Have you ever visited Shirakawa. It's absolutely beautiful in the summer. It is. It really, really is. I love those like nature-esque areas. I kind of fell in love with them even more once like I got into like the camera stuff. And once I got my first drone, I just, I like having the opportunity to see the nature from a different, oh, anyways. What got you into photography? I don't even know. When I was young, my dad had a uh, like SLR camera and I was always wanted to play with it. But I didn't really get into photography itself until I got to Japan. I got my first SLR camera maybe back in 2009, 2010, around there. And then I just kind of took off from there. Uh, the, the photography actually came more from making videos than anything else because I make the videos for the shamisen players and yeah, um, I, I love making those. So, all right, SLR is a type of car. Yes, it is. It's also a type of camera. And so there you are. All right, if you could get art from any artist, what would you want drawn or painted? If I could like have art from any artist, there's two artists that I'm actually a massive fan of. Number one is Vincent van Gogh, and number two is Escher. My room when I was back in university was filled with art. Most people like put up like posters and stuff like that. I was like, I don't know, maybe, I don't, is that hipster? I don't think it's hipster, but we, I do have a beard now, so you can call it hipster if you want. But I loved Vincent van Gogh and Escher more than anything. Got a super chat from Brian Rogers here. Give me a second to read this. Brian, congratulations on your decision to drop the job and do what you love. I see, okay. So, okay, I, I guess I'll address this in the live stream. I'm not actively running Patreon yet. I may eventually start a Patreon, but if I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it the right way. Right now, what I've got going, like there's a reason that I put stuff out in the form of like the, the Tokyo Lens Pre 50K gear and the photography and stuff like that is because I wanna be able to give, 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 give much more than like, I, I understand that some people are like, oh, I wanna give back and I love that. I really do, I appreciate it so much. Like the, I just, it, it makes it so that artists can survive. And that's one of the things that I love about Patreon. But if I'm gonna be running a Patreon, I want it to be different. I want it to be spectacular. And I want it to be an opportunity where I can sit and I can give as much as physically possible. And so 
I, I, I may eventually do Patreon, but it will take some time. I was actually inspired by a video that Jack Conti, the, the CEO of Patreon made, and I want to start my Patreon off in the right way by showing appreciation and love. So give it some time, we will get there. Until then, there's always the Tokyo Lens, all the, the, the prints and everything. And as I said, as soon as this Tokyo Lens Pre-50K merch comes down off of the site, which will be happening within the next like 48 to 72 hours, I'm gonna be releasing like bags and additional stickers and everything based off of the prints. So like the, the, the Tokyo Lens cat print and the Akihabara, the Tokyo Tower, all of those are gonna get turned into phone cases and bags and everything so they're accessible to everybody because not not everybody wants to put up a print. Even, even I have a space for a print right here and even I don't have a print. So the prints were really just because a lot of people said, hey, do you sell prints? And I wanted to get those out to those people. So now for me to catch up on the like, 50 comments that have come in since then. I am like, whoo, actually a math teacher who really liked MCE. Do you have advice on how to learn Japanese? My advice on how to learn Japanese is my advice that I give every single time, a little bit every single day. Make it part of your life, morning, night. Right before this live stream, I did a bit of exercise. Right before going to bed, I'll do a little bit more exercise because it's every single day. Surprisingly, I don't know how many of you know this, I was kind of fat like two years ago. I was like 92 kilograms. It's like nearly 200 pounds or more. And a little bit every day makes a huge, huge difference. To anybody joining right now and saying hello, hello, glad to see you. And yeah, I'm glad I got the sticker, but I'm not sure where to put it yet, right? Where do you get your inspiration from? All right, Brie, there's Brie, Bria, Bria, Ms. Termal. There's a video I want you to search on my channel called For Those of You Struggling. And I talk in that video, <clears throat> excuse me, about the inspiration and motivation side of things. Look for that video watch that video, leave me a comment, let me know that you've seen it. It answers all of that. All right, so looking at my Tokyo cat picture right now, Molly, you're my hero, I love it. And good morning to everybody who's just joining in. And how do you get from intermediate, ooh, Albo's asked a different type of question. How do you get from intermediate level Japanese to advanced? Now, I'm going to start with a really generic response for this because I think this is a really good question too. Getting from basic to intermediate is pretty easy, but getting from intermediate to advanced requires one thing. You have to keep the drive. You have to keep wanting it. The, you've got to, obviously, when, every, when something's new, it has so much impact. And interesting fact, so one thing that not a lot of people know is one of the things that I studied in university was psychology and changes in the brain. I have a friend named Douglas who, like, studies the brain and who knows so much about that. And he shared an interesting fact with me that I really, really enjoyed, which is when something has shock or impact, it makes a larger amount of change in the brain, which is one of the reasons that when we first start learning a language, it's very, very easy to make quick progress in something because it's new, it's shocking, it has impact. When something's new, shocking, or outside of your comfort zone, it'll have more of a physiological change in the formation of your brain. However, once you get used to a language, once you're comfortable with it, once you can survive with it, pushing beyond that becomes incredibly, incredibly difficult because your brain is so used to it. So you've got to shock yourself. You've got to push yourself. Recording myself speaking in Japanese was a huge shock for me. I don't know if that works for everybody, but I sat down, I had a conversation with a Japanese friend and I recorded it. And it was just, just, I watched it and I was like, oh my God, is that what my Japanese sounds like? And it pushed me so hard to do even better. And then it got me again, going boom, 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 boom and just get back into the daily study. Also putting yourself in unfamiliar situations. There are two situations that help me boost my Japanese a lot. Number one, when I got into the car side of things, which Albo is really heavy into, I decided to watch and read all the manga and anime initial D so that I could learn the car language. It was a totally different new set of language that I previously couldn't speak. 
And then when I got into the shamisen side of things, I decided to read shamisen related manga and books so I could learn the shamisen side of things. And again, it's like relearning the language from absolute scratch. So that hopefully answers that. Now, I just saw Timothy Messer jump in here and I wanna say hello to Timothy. I can like blow this wide open now, but when I was recording the Tokyo Lens Pre 50K gear video, I went down to the river to shoot that. And Timothy here has been like one of the longest standing like commenters like since the beginning, along with so many of you. And Timothy was just sitting at the river and in like the most calm of moments ever, it was just like, Hi, Norm. And I was like, hi, he's like, I'm Timothy. And my mind was blown. It was so exciting to see him. And we, we got some time together and then we ran into each other again in Ueno later on. It was just, it was amazing. Um, and then when I was shooting the I Quit video, shooting that I Quit video was a challenge in and of itself because for some reason, walking around in a suit with my camera must have made me stand out more than usual but um yeah people just kept coming up that day i had two three i think i got at least two people on camera coming up to say hello and whatnot so timothy thank you so much for coming up to say hello that will make its way into the next vlog for anybody just joining now let me give you a little bit of it i've got i've got a page i've got a page of stuff that i want to update you guys on i'm like super excited about it first of all canada day happy canada day second of all we just unboxed a ton of stuff and we made this crazy contraption of a tiny camera with a giant lens it was a lot of fun do i ever name my cameras no no i named my car but never my cameras <laughs> additionally the i quit video is out it is that video has over 500 comments on it, probably even more. I, I'm reading every comment. I haven't had a chance to reply. Um, I've got a huge gig coming up later on in this month, which has led to me like buying and unboxing all of this stuff today. Um, and da, 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 da. yeah, just huge shout outs to the people who I love and thank done at the beginning, all linked down below I'm just what was my car's name I can't even remember well my one car was a Sylvia uh, s14 so I, ju I just called it Sylvia that's it wasn't really a special special name you melody you missed the unboxing that's okay you can totally totally go back and rewatch the unboxing any USA trips planned yes it's kind of part of the, what I want to do with the Patreon release. Um, the, the USA trips and the Patreon release are kind of, kind of hand in hand. There's just something that I want to do with that. So should I ever get a Patreon soon after, I do hope to be hanging out with you guys in the States. Ooh, London would be really, really nice. All right. Guilty pleasure Japanese food. Well, you guys know I love dagashi. Like, I love dagashi, which are like little Japanese penny snacks, and I cannot stop eating them. They just, yeah, they're definitely my little guilty. But, ooh, Nosh, good to see you in here. Did, how, is this Nosh's first comment? How have I not seen you in here yet? And I'm just scrolling through because I feel like I've missed so many questions and comments. What's your next adventure? I heard you want to talk to me. Very nicely played the report of the week. I'm just like going back and reading old stuff in here. Any trips to Latin America plan? Ooh, man, we have some incredible scenery here where I live. Where do you live? I wanna know that. So, are you planning on making a video entirely on Japanese in the future? Okay, guys, <clears throat> you guys probably know my buddy Dogen, who does videos all in Japanese. One of the things that I would love to do this year, if our schedules line up, is go down and do a video with Dogen where we just do stuff in Japanese and just have like a nice I love his microphone and just how the voice comes out of it I don't know so yeah I uh, just got here my calendar didn't go off Nosh that is okay I'm still super psyched to have you here and uh, 
I'm seriously just scrolling through trying to find stuff. I always miss the live streams. I have to watch later. This is my first time actually watching it live. Well, since it's your first time watching it live, hello, Heather, and thank you for watching it live. I'm super excited to have you here. How did you discover Dagashi? It is everywhere. Actually, the very first time, there's a story behind that. There's always a story behind it, and I love storytelling, so that's what we're gonna do. The very first time that I ever discovered Dagashi was 2005. It was, I think, somewhere around spring. I was in the area of Ikebukuro in Sunshine City. I went downstairs, and there was this really classic-looking shop made all of wood and had stuff hanging from the ceilings. It was insanely colorful. I walked in and I saw it was a candy shop and I thought, well, this, this is right up my alley. This is so exciting. And then I realized it was all penny candies. And I walked out $20 later with a backpack full of snacks. And that is how I found Dagashi. To this day, that is still one of my favorite shops. That same shop is kind of all over the place. I visit that shop sometimes in the Sky Tree. I visited that exact shop out in Ehime where I visit Sherry. So. And um, yeah, Nosh is coming to Japan pretty soon too. Can you link all these peeps in the description, please? I'm hoping that these peeps being the 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 people I've given shout outs to. Um Charlotte is definitely linked below. <clears throat> My buddy Taylor, who just hit a hundred K on his photography channel. If you guys want like good photography stuff, like for example, I just got the Canon M50 right here. Taylor just did a video on the M50 the other day. His stuff is linked below. And as soon as I wrap up this live stream and it's finished being processed, my buddy Alba will be linked below as well. So, and any chance of messing around with Chris abroad in Sendai? The future is wide open. I, mean, I love that area. I would love to get out there and hang out with him. And Molly retracted a message. Oh no. So I, Ikebukuro Sunshine City, how did you lose your weight? I lost my weight through calorie control and daily action. I may eventually do a video on that. You see, with my little brother coming out in August, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna use that as a month to get a little fat and then make a video on the weight loss or whether I'm just gonna like make that like like whole month like a weight loss month but it kind of feels like it'd be a waste because my brother and I can definitely eat a lot of stuff together is there any Japanese food that you dislike I don't it's not Japanese food in particular but I don't like shiso and I don't like hakuchi which I believe is coriander really not a huge uh, not a huge have you ever met shoot Tokyo Face to face, no, but we hang out quite a bit on Twitter, um, and we we chat on there. We you know message each other, and like we're doing like this seven day black and white photo challenge together right now, so that's pretty awesome. What was your first impression of an onsen? For those of you who don't know, an onsen is a Japanese bath where you go in just the way that God made you, completely nude, and uh, you, you bathe with other strangers my very first impression of this as you may i actually might make a video of this too it's on my list was was no way i'm not i'm not getting into people's soup it's just not i'm not doing it but over the years i've actually slowly started to fall in love with onsen and i go a lot more often now um so yeah that's bye Albo. I, I don't know if i missed him i may have missed him who knows uh, yeah, and my little brother is saying there's absolutely no question of us doing a weight loss month. We eat like horses. Yes, we do. When, especially when me and my brothers get together, we eat insane amounts of food. Ooh, you know what? Let's get my little brother involved in this a little bit. Alexander, you've been to Japan before. You have been out to Tokyo. We have gone out to Kyoto. Where do you want to go that we haven't gone? What do you want to do? We've done the bullet train. We've done everything. We still have to walk Rainbow Bridge, right? We got to walk Rainbow Bridge. That's got to be a thing that we do. So, uh, and wow, there's, uh, yeah, right? Like it's the very first time that you go to and on, I think I'm gonna need to have this. Okay, apparently people have attached to the people soup thing. And you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to scroll back here because I feel like I've missed Molly. 
What Vincent Van Gogh painting would you choose? It's so hard to choose. It's so... I once did a recreation of Starry Night, um, but I don't know if that, like, even just a simple sunflower, like, oh, it's so hard to choose. I can't, I can't choose. I can't. I just, I can't choose. I'm so sorry. It's, I love them all. Um, now, oh my lord, really trying to hard to keep up with all of these. Did you know that there's a Dagashi store in Rocks 3G in Asakusa? Yes, I know. I go there all the time. I'm surprised if you know about it, we haven't run into each other yet. So, also, side note, as I'm catching up on these comments, um, I might actually just do, like, th there's these little things that keep coming up, like the people soup or the uh, fresh foreigner smell. I feel like all of these are gonna need to be t-shirts at some point. And uh, Rainbow Bridge, yeah. My, my brother and I need to walk Rainbow Bridge and I feel like, and Christina, thank you for the super chat. I'm gonna pause right here for just a second to say, sorry to join so late. Hope your day is going well. What is your favorite food to cook? Ooh, that is a big one. We'll get back to all the other questions in just a second, but this, this is getting some focus. My day is going well. I have an entire day of editing ahead of me, so I'm gonna be sitting right over there at my computer editing for probably 16 to 20 hours today. We're off to a good start with this live stream. Favorite food to cook. When I was young, I watched, I used to have a paper route when I was in Canada, when I was like 10 years old or something. And as I delivered the newspapers, I had to fold everything and put them in bags in order to deliver them. I had 114 houses I had to deliver to. As I did this, I would watch this TV show called Yan Can Cook. He is this incredibly high energy Chinese man who takes you around and does like tours of the area and gathers the food and then cuts it all up. And I loved his shows. So I have developed this weird love for cooking Chinese food, especially like dim sum style things like dumplings and everything like that. I love cooking dumplings. I love it. Um, I love doing anything Japanese. For a while I had this period where making maki rolls and actually like slicing up sushi was spectacular. And Albo's still here. I said bye to him. Ooh, I've been trolled by Albo. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I gotta scroll back because I feel like I missed my little brother's answer to what he wants to do. If anybody saw that, let me know because I cannot find it. I, I just lost it. Alexander, if you already posted your answer to that, can you just like repost it? Because there are so many comments that have come in that I can't find it, man. I'm so sorry. Um, ever hang out with John Dove from Only in Japan? Not yet. We're in talks though. He's a really nice guy. I really cannot wait for the hour. I just want to sit down and have a meal with him and just kind of share our experiences because we both, John Dove from Only in Japan and I both love the hidden spots of Japan. So I just cannot wait to like sit down with him. Favorite Swedish fa fish flavor? Red all the way. Red all the way. Ray. Hi, Norm. Emery says, hi, Emery. Oh, thank you. Okay, so Ray here, Ray and Emery uh, actually super chatted us while Charlotte and I were doing our live stream in Korea and Charlotte and I got into this whole thing about we, we love the name. We love the name Emery. So, Alexander. Want to visit areas around Mount Fuji? Done. Alexander, let's rent a car and drive out there and just explore the area. I'll bring the drone. We'll have a good time. Uh, favorite non-Japan YouTubers. There's a guy I want to give a shout out to. I don't know if I'm going to remember to link him below. I want you, not YouTube so much as Instagram, a guy named Jesse Driftwood. Jesse Driftwood. He does vertical Instagram stories, but his stories are better edited and put together than my vlogs. He does more with 15 seconds than I do with like a five, 10 minute vlog. And sorry, that knee slap was really loud. I was not expecting that. Jesse Driftwood, definitely check him out. We chat sometimes uh, on Instagram and he's just such an amazing person. So, let me try and catch up. Have you ever met Rachel and June? Yeah, actually like quite a few times. We also, we, Rachel and June and I have been like 
texting back and forth for the last two plus years to find time to meet. We want to do something maybe shami sin related. I don't know, but we just time and schedules and all that. So, Ants Canada makes amazing videos if you're into ants or insects. That is nosh. I'm glad I read this out because that is an awesome, awesome, awesome. And so, super chat missed. Did I? Did I miss a super chat? I'm going to go back. I hope I didn't miss a super chat. I'm telling, I've been told that I missed a super chat. If I did, let me know. I'm hoping I didn't. I think I'm all caught up on the super chats. I think. If I missed it, let me know. And people are saying they love watching Yen Kang cook as well. Isn't Yen great? Who, like if you guys haven't watched Yen Kang cook, definitely check that out. Like a hundred percent. Jesse Driftwood. There it is. Okay. I think I'm scroll. Oh, there we go. Megan. New super chat. If you could play the shamisen for anyone in the world, who would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Living or dead? Or, or does it have to be living? Um, I'm going to give an answer to, to both of those. And so, uh, missed super chat from Ray. No, I caught Ray's super chat. I definitely did, right? Yeah, I caught it. So, if... Okay, so Argo chatted. Uh-oh, give me a second to find Argos as well, and then I'm going to come back to this one. I I should not have missed a super chat. That's not cool. I'm sorry. If I, if I did, I'm going to, like, definitely, if I cannot scroll back and find it because I'm searching and I do not see it, what I will do is whatever the super chat was, yeah, it's not there anymore. Argo, can you maybe just leave it in... In, in a comment and then I'll, I'll get back to it. And then what I'll do is I'll go back through the whole super chat and I'll leave a comment pinned at the top to rectify this and answer that. So play Shamisen for anyone in the world. He said, go have sushi on him. Well, Argo, you know what? We've caught the super chat. Thank you very much. I will have sushi on you. I appreciate that. I might even vlog it. That would be, I, I think that that's how we should be using these super chats. And hello, Rachel. So, if I could play Shami Sin for anyone in the world, who would it be? So, I, uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because I already have, like, the, the people that I would want to play Shami Sin for who are living would be the Yoshida brothers, because they're like the legends of Shamisen, and I've already had the opportunity to do that. We've, we've played Shamisen, like, like I've sat on stage with one of the Yoshida brothers and played Shamisen with him, so that's amazing. But there is one person who, if still alive, I, I would give anything to be able to play Shamisen for, and that's my grandfather. And you see, my grandfather is the one who got me into music to begin with. My brother Alexander, who's hanging out in the, uh, my brother who's hanging out in the comments right now will be able to tell you, our grandfather was an amazing musician, amazing guitarist. He gave me my first guitar. He got me on the road to music. And one of my dreams was always to be able to play shamisen for him. But he passed away before I could do that. On the plus side, I was able to get him a shamisen shirt and, you know, my, my little brother has some video footage of him wearing that. But yeah, if I could play shamisen for anybody, honestly, anybody in the world, it would be him. So, uh, da, 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 da. and wow, looks like we got some drama going on in the comments. Don't worry about that. We can just ignore the, the, the drama-esque people. We can have a good time because we have the best community ever. And Nosh, no question, just chipping in for the cost of 4G. Well, Nosh, thank you very much. But Nosh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm using my, my, my router for this. I appreciate that. When I do the, the, the uh, when I do the, super, the, the live streams outside, I use a mix of this and data. I keep the, the phone setting on that like Wi-Fi assist so that it uses data if the signal gets too bad. But Nosh, I've actually been enjoying talking to you a lot lately, Nosh, so check your email, mate. Um, 
yeah, uh, coming to Japan in one month, hopefully I'll run into you. That would be really awesome. I would love that. This is something that it was originally happening like once or twice a month that I would run into somebody and then got to the airport in Korea and there was somebody there. I was walking the streets of Korea, there's someone there. And since then, it's been one to two people weekly. In fact, yesterday I was heading out to the Sky Tree first like thing after getting back to Tokyo and I, I ran into a viewer there. So definitely if you see me, come up and say hello. Just come up and say hi. So glad to see you. <clears throat> Any more black karage? It's gone. And Pixel, Pixel 13. Um, the announcement, like what, really this, this live was less of an announcement, more of like, I just want to talk to you guys. I did unbox like a ton of stuff. And when I say like a ton of stuff, I mean, I unboxed a ton of stuff. This was kind of the announcement because I've landed a really awesome shooting gig that I'm going to be taking you guys along with and I needed some gear for that and that's really the kickoff like it's it's amazing that like first day ever and we're, here we are so it seems like Rachel Rachel gotta run have a great stream thank you Rachel oh, bye glad to have you so uh da, 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 da. There's a Mexican chocolate coffee that Molly wants to send. I will, I'll take that. If you want to send like sealed bags of coffee, absolutely. I guess that's the other part of the announcement besides the fact that, you know, by by now most of you know that I have I've quit my job. So this, this is what we have. So I get to produce as much content for you guys as I can until something changes whenever that might happen. But until that time, I'm dropping stuff. Until that time. We're going to be producing content like crazy. Linked down below is love to some of the people that have given me the, the courage and support in order to get here. So just huge love to them. As well as finally, because so many people have asked an address to send stuff. Lisa, Lisa, which is it? Let me know. Is it Lisa or Lisa? I, either way, I love it. And super chat here normally your grandfather would have heard you play by now he's always with you at every performance go have let's go have coffee mate okay you're like gonna make me like tear up on a live stream so i'm just gonna say thank you very much for that i do appreciate it and uh where do people send stuff uh there's an address link down below tokyo creative has been very much kind enough to open up their doors for packages for Tokyo Lens. So if you do have something that you wanted to send to Tokyo Lens, i.e. me, it is linked down below. Photo Deviants, thank you so much. Good to see ya. And Rue, yay, you made it so great. Do you have a favorite season? Yes, I have a favorite season. Silly, silly question. It's spring. I love spring. I love spring forever. In fact, I wanted to do today's live stream out in this beautiful beautiful weather it is gorgeous clear day outside but we just we had too much stuff to unbox so and are you going to be on a tokyo creative play that is that is the, the the plan right now but what we're doing right now is i'm trying to come up with a really fun concept something unique something a little different something tokyo lens-esque um, favorite cereal, is it Reese's? I do love Reese's. And actually, my three favorite cereals would have to be Reese's, um, what's it called? Lucky Charms and Golden Grams. Absolutely love it. Angel, take care. I do have a little something to send you that's perfect. Well, thank you, Stephanie. And da, 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 just talking about it. And. But muggy, <laughs> thank you, man. Is it, is it a bit muggy? It's it's a little muggy outside. It can make your butt muggy. I don't know if that's the question we're asking. Do you watch Life Where I'm From channel on YouTube? Actually, Greg and I are buddies. We were, we were out for lunch the other week. 
Greg is the work that he puts into his content. We have very, very different workflows. So we were sitting down for lunch and we were talking about our different workflows, how mine's in the moment, here it is, and how his is very reflective. He loves reflecting on the content. And so actually the video that I'm putting out tomorrow, the Tokyo Tuesday that's coming out tomorrow, was kind of inspired by my chat that I had from with Greg from Life Where I'm From. And I, I can't wait to see how it turns out. So, <laughs> uh, Jibril, thank you so much for joining. You take care now. And Red October, for the next time you and Sharla steal a bus in Korea. <laughs> yep. You know, they really, they gave us the bus. We didn't, we didn't exactly, okay, we might have stole the bus, but they gave us the bus. They, they gave us the free bus. So that was, that was awesome. We had like, just, yeah, and Greg's vids have a great viewpoint on issues. Yeah, Greg goes deep on things. I just really, really respect how well he does. And how's everything in Japan right now with the World Cup? I have been in and out of Tokyo for like, like the last week was like finish up my salary man job, get rid of the suit, pack it all up, go on a trip, come back, and then produce videos. So I actually haven't, I've been detached from the World Cup it's too bad because I got like a jersey back then that I never got to wear. Anything you're missing from Canada? Coffee. Um, there is... And it's not even expensive or fancy coffee either. I'm surprised at how quick I did that. That's actually quite a distance. Like, there's this... Meletica, like hazelnut cream coffee that I absolutely love. Uh, as well as Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, wine gums, popcorn seasonings, especially the Canadian flavors, like all dressed. Oh, I miss everything from Canada. Like if you wanna know like what I miss from Canada, check out the, the video where I unbox all my stuff from Canada. Yeah, you'll see it all in there. I miss all of that stuff pretty much. Swedish Fish all the way. There's no Timmy's in Tokyo, no. Oh, don't even, I can't even talk about Tim Hortons right now. Don't even get me started on Tim Hortons. It's, it's terrible coffee that you can't help but love. So, like, geez. Yeah, Greg is also Canadian, so, all right. And uh, might find some on Amazon. Yeah, actually a lot of the stuff is available on Amazon at insanely, insanely inflated prices. Like just mind-blowingly inflated prices. So, I have such a mess of stuff. Just such a mess of stuff. So guys, what I want you, what I want to do today, like what I would absolutely love if we could do today, because today I'm going to be sitting at that computer video editing all day, all day. So a lot of people ask like, oh, how can we support the channel? Of course, like if, you, if you're buying like the Tokyo Lens Pre 50K gear or the prints or some of the stuff that I'm about to release this week, yay, I'm happy about that. But what I really love is this interaction, which is why I love doing the live streams so that we can sit here, we can talk, we can hang out. And I, I put out so much, but I love being able to like get that back from you guys. So if there are old videos that you haven't watched yet and you want to do like a little binge session, watch a couple old videos, leave some comments and stuff like that, I'm going to be sitting at that computer pretty much all day. I can guarantee you I'm going to be able to see everything that you guys are watching and sending in and I just can't wait because literally guys, it's going to be like 18 hours of me sitting like this editing videos with coffee and just reading your comments. So if you were ever going to binge watch, now's the time. So love it and I'm just woo missing so much stuff here Tokyo lens I still want that bag in white okay you know what Nosh Nosh I'll, I'll see what I can do for you mate I'll see what I can do for you. maybe I'll just leave that maybe I'll make an adjustment to you today and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know so you're gonna visit Taylor R in Hong Kong I haven't been out to Hong Kong yet and Taylor and I haven't hung out yet this is there are so many things that need to be done there are so many things that need to be done Three hearts for Rome if you're sending Swedish fish. So, yeah. Summary of announcements because we just unboxed probably more stuff than I've ever unboxed on camera in my life. Speaking of cameras, seriously, look at how goofy this looks. 
Look at this tiny little ball. I just can't get over it. I'm gonna be looking at this all day. I, I might just set it up on my camera, on my table, so I can just stare at this right here. Um, really, really excited. No, I don't have a Patreon. So, uh, de denim adept. Um, maybe go back and watch. We talked about the Patreon thing. I cover that. It might be something coming in the works for that, but I want to do it really like, uh, and give me a second. I want to read this one. I, I want to read all of them, but this, I, I got a comment about this before and I, I haven't had a chance to reply to all the beautiful comments on that. Like I quit video and I just, it's 500 comments, but this here, Ferris Moss says, just wanted to let you know I suffer from PTSD, but I want to spend my life traveling. Your channel is one of the things that helps keep me motivated to keep fighting. Thank you. I'm going to put all my stuff aside for a second. I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. When I was young, I got hit with what I could only assume. I, I was like, I was very young. I, I got hit with what I could only assume was some form of like chemical imbalance depression. I got really, really hit hard for a while. I emotionally just wasn't balanced. I always wanted to cry. It was really, really rough time. I don't remember how long it lasted, but I do remember that what got me through it, and this will tell you how young I was, was Garfield comic books. I had a stack of Garfield comic books, and I read those comic books every single day. To this day, I am thankful for those Garfield comic books for getting me through that time. You see, I know when I make this, these videos, I know when I do the vlog, that not every single person is gonna be able to travel to Japan. Not every single person is gonna be able to get out there. But, but, for those who can, I wanna share the adventure. For those who can't, for those who might be stuck at home, I want them to be able to live vicariously through the vlog, which is why I try and make it as personal and as like first person view as I possibly can. So when I read that comment, I want to say that I see you, I appreciate you, and I support you. Love all of you. And you know what? Molly, uh, Molly I'm going to get to you in just a second. May, any candy from Finland you'd like to try? Yes. I, I will defer to your judgment. Um, anything, really. Yes. Just, just, yes. I don't even have words. Um, Molly, uh, I think you'll uh, never have to worry about buying Swedish fish or Sour Patch Kids ever again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, alright, cool. I, I, uh, <laughs> just worried that it's gonna be like this influx. I'm not actually worried. That would be awesome, but we're gonna ruin the, the physique and I'm gonna have to exercise extra just to get rid of those calories. Uh, nosh. Uh, a lot of potential for creators here. It, important to remember that anyone can be a creator. Yeah, uh, all you have is a mobile phone or iPod touch. And toys are great, but not required to tell a story. Exactly. And you know what? This right here, I just unboxed this. I've got this camera sitting right here. And you know what? We have been sitting together for over the last hour doing this live stream together, almost an hour and a half. And all of this is happening right on my cell phone. This entire channel started on my cell phone. That's something I want you guys to remember. You do not need the best of tools, okay? Avenger. I'm gonna read this one out. Hey Norm, just wanted to say your videos are ob always absolutely amazing and inspiring. Do you have any tips on dealing with procrastination? I do have tips on dealing with procrastination because it's something that I suffer with. I'm procrastinating right now because I know I have an 18 hour edit ahead of me, but this is also kind of one of the things I wanted to do to get past this. Start your first, like, like the first five minutes of your day, do something. I wake up each morning and I have kind of a set routine. <clears throat> I wake up and I'm like, okay, I've got to fold up my stones, clean up the, clean up my space. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to hit some exercise. I want to hit five to 10 minutes of exercise right away. I want to get some like water and then I want to just get in there and reply to tweets and comments and stuff like that. If I start my day, the first 15 to 20 minutes of my day, how I start my day becomes the theme for the entire day. If I start my day and I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit down on the sofa a bit and have some coffee. 
my, my day tends to be a throwaway from there. That doesn't work for everybody, but for me, to fight procrastination, I just start with the smallest of steps. And all the little things I do in the morning are tiny little things. So I hope that helps. Just start with something little. Like when I start with this video today, it's, it's a huge video. It's over 700 clips that I've got to put together. I'm talking like drone clips, I'm talking camera clips, I'm talking interviews, you name it. I'm just gonna start by looking at the timeline and laying stuff out. I'm gonna have a plan, I'm just gonna start doing it, so. I hope that helps. I hope it wasn't like too weird of an answer. Um, ooh. What if you can't do any of these normal things anymore? Hannah, could you elaborate on that question? You mean like, what if I wasn't physically able to do any of the normal things? Cause that's something I actually think about quite often. Do you start your day by making coffee count? The starting your day by making, starting your day by making coffee, it's, it's a piece of work. Do you have more than one drone? At the moment I only have the one drone. And I'm trying to scroll through. More like mentally able. <clears throat> so yeah, Hannah, really, really good. A really good question. So the mental struggle is, is just as hard as like the physical struggle. And like Sherry and I did a video called For Those of You Struggling, where I, I address this. But I think things need to be compartmentalized and broken down into the smallest of steps. One of the things that I think a lot of people struggle with, and I feel that way because I struggle with this, is I will sit down before doing a day, and today, everything I have to do today, everything from cleaning up this mess all the way to getting the edit going, to the export, to the titling, to like everything that I have to do has already played out in my head, and it can feel overwhelming. It can feel so huge, and it's just like, where do I start? How do I get the energy to actually stand up and do this? Like, what, what am I gonna do with my day? And like, you just, sometimes you just want to like lay down and just melt into the sofa and like I get it but taking the smallest smallest of steps to standing up like when I'm really really out of it I'll just get up and I'll be like oh I'm so physically tired I'll do 10 push-ups and then at the end of the 10 I'll do another 10 and then the other 10 I'll do another 10 and then I'll sit down and I'll like and I'll put something out on Twitter or I'll start up my computer or I'll do some form of work. I'll clean something. Just the smallest of little steps can inspire me to move to the next step. The mental struggle is the hardest thing, but anybody can make the tiniest of steps. And I think if we focus on that first tiny little step, it's so much easier to get to the next step. You don't even need to think about the next step. So. And da, 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 da. so much to catch up on here. Yeah, the editing, the editing is is the the challenging part of it because the editing is where the story happens, right? So, I, I I agree that that's quite. I have something I like to share about procrastination. Perhaps I'll post it tomorrow. Well played, Red October. Well played. What gets you out of bed in the morning? You know, it, it was hard for a long time. Honestly, it really. It really, really, really was. I I feel I'm so lucky. I, I don't feel like I can. What gets me out of the bed in the morning is just the, the people that surround me and the people that I love and the people that love me back. Being able to wake up, especially with it being 2018, me being so far from my family back in Canada, the fact that I can hang out, my little brother is hanging out in the comments section and we can connect like this. I can Skype my family back home in Canada. And a really big part, a really big part of what gets me out of bed in the morning is just the fact that I can wake up and I, I like see the interaction from you guys. And I'm like, oh, this is how I'm gonna start my day. So, all right. Do you have any good recommendations for beach around Tokyo Chiba area? I don't, I, I don't have any beach recs. Why did I read it? I don't have. Uh, how many, I'm not good with beaches yet. Uh, how many times per week do you practice your shamisen? I practice my shamisen every single day. Every day. I was practicing before we did this live stream. I woke up, I woke up at like six. I did some exercise, I did a little bit of cleaning. I prep for the live stream, I practice from Shemisen, and here we are. So, 
<laughs> Sorry about all the cat locks. I hit that. All right, so I still haven't edited any videos yet. Okay, what I want to do, I really, I, I need to get some cleaning done. Seriously, if you hear boxes and everything everywhere, I just, I just realized that the lens that I just bought comes with a bag, which is, is nice, but you see, this is a Tamron lens. And Sigma lenses all come with a nice little case, which I was used to. I didn't realize this one came with a bag. Also, there's like the most unbox unorganized unboxing ever. So guys, um, there is so much more I want to talk to you guys about. So much more. Like we just, there's been never enough time in a day, is there? There's never enough time to do everything that you want to do. What time do you usually get up every day? I'd, I'd say I usually wake up between 6 and 7 a.m. almost daily. And yeah, this, this is an awesome camera. This particular camera is purchased for a job coming up. The job basically was used to purchase the camera and the cameras for the job. So they cancel out, but there we are. So yes. Paula, thank you so much. What time is it there? It's currently 10.05 in the morning. I was not, not, not expecting to be here hanging out with you guys for an hour and a half. I definitely wasn't. As I said, I'm going to be editing all day. So if you guys want to spend this day, this week, this month binge watching, I'm going to be putting out as much content as possible for you guys. So yeah, I, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to change the channel banner to say like Tokyo Lens binge watch Proved. What do you guys think of that? Would that be would that be too audacious? It might be too audacious. We still might do it though. So guys, again, shout outs to everybody who's got us started. They are linked down below. I'm gonna be adding Albo down there as well. And yeah, for those of you sending stuff, the address and whatnot is linked below. I'm gonna be doing a I'm gonna be doing a video uh, this week that talks about it. Um, yeah, this week's like vlog vlog that's going to kick off the week is going to be fantastic. Tomorrow is going to be a video on the best place to escape the crowds of Tokyo. Yes. And Jesse Driftwood. I got to remember to link him down below. Meetups and all that stuff are coming in the future. And I, I just... There's just so much I like I want to talk to you guys about, but we are out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, so much for joining today's live stream. I think we might need to do another live stream pretty soon. Definitely hang out in the comments once the live stream has wrapped up. I will see you guys all there. Let me know in the comments if you guys want more time to hang out on these live streams. Thank you to every single one of you who has joined. Thank you to all the super chatters. Thank you to my little brother for joining. Thank you to Albo. And I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Oh no, Abby just got here. Abby, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Abby. It's an hour and a half live stream. You can go back and watch the whole thing. So love you guys so much. And yeah, we will, we'll see you again real soon. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna show this this new toy and I think I'm gonna have to go make some videos with this pretty soon